What's up Photoshop Groms, Cool Guy Designs here doing a Photoshop tutorial today. We're going to talk about layer comps. We're going to describe what they are, why you would use them, and how to use them. So opening up Photoshop, I have some layer comps set up already. So what layer comps are, they are just quick versions of your Photoshop file, a quick composition of the layers here. So I just have one, we're just calling it Bedrock, based off this wine's name. Number two is St. Joseph, you can see the background and some of the art changes. And number three, Jardine, you can see it kind of goes back to that red, but with different photos and type. So, uh, so yeah, what these are, uh, I kind of use the same layers um, in these layers here. Um, just to go to Bedrock, I'll show you opening up these layer groups. So I have the Bedrock title, the Bedrock text, and if we go to borders, uh, we can see the red wine right border and red wine left border are selected. These are the visible uh, layers right now. I have some invisible layers that I have turned off but they are not a part of the composition. So going to one, that is Bedrock. Now we hit two, St. Joseph. You can see everything switches to the second uh, layers in the, in the composition. So St. Joseph title, text. This goes to the white wine right border and left border. And uh, yeah, the picture changes as well. And now when we go to three, it changes again. And it uses that red wine right border again from the first, from the first version. See that, that it doesn't change, but the text changes. So yeah, rather than making just like different layers of the entire card and putting them in layers here, you can kind of set up a file like this and uh, reuse some of the same elements, but then still have them layered um, in the layer comps here. So you can have different versions in the same Photoshop file. It's just a better way to organize your layers and do, if you're doing explorative work too, like you can work through a lot of different uh, versions and, you know, not lose a version that you really liked uh, that you, that you were working on. So, Hope that kind of explained what layer comps are. We're gonna get rid of these and we're gonna kind of uh, show you how to use them as well. So I'm gonna delete my layer comps just so we can start from scratch. Okay, so the first one that I wanna do, I'm just gonna turn off everything. Turn off the borders. Really see how the sausage is made. Okay, so we're going to go from the bottom up. Uh, so I want to pick which image first. I'm going to choose Bedrock here. I'm just going to turn that layer on. I have some color blocks set up. They have a texture on the right that I need to put on. And yeah, we're just going to pick the red one to match uh, the red background in the photo. I'm going to skip the watermark for now. Okay, we want the red wine border. rather than these orange ones here. So yeah, we just want those red wine ones chosen. It's Bedrock Wine, so let's choose Bedrock Text. My dog says, hey. And the Bedrock Title. So this is the version of the layers that I want to use. So now that I have a version that I like, I'm gonna go again to the Layer Comps window. We're gonna click this plus sign. Create new layer comp. I'm just gonna name this one bedrock. Oh, we're going to apply the visibility. I'm going to keep all these uh, deselected on mine. Uh, but yeah, if you need to keep all of this as well for yours, just you know, check them. But yeah, I don't need them. So I'm just going to click OK. So this is the first version. Now I need to make the second version of everything. Again, starting with the images. I'm going to click the second one called Circa. That's St. Joseph. Color blocks. We're going to choose not that orange, we're going to choose this, this uh, more yellow one, but we got to turn that layer off. There we go. For the borders, we don't need those anymore. So I'm going to choose these white wine borders. And for the text, we need to remember to change the St. Joseph. And the title is St. Joseph as well. And I'm deselecting Bedrock. Okay, now that I have this version of the layers that I like, I can create my second layer comp. So I'm going to click plus to St. Joseph and click OK. And now say I want to do more work on the bedrock. I can just go back and that layer comp is saved. All the, everything updates automatically. So I don't have to go through the work of deselecting all those layers again. And especially if I'm handing this off to someone else, it's really easy for them to navigate. Um, yeah, which versions of this Photoshop file they want um, used. 
So, okay, I'm going to show one last thing. Say I want to add something to these. A way that I do that, I'm going to add this watermark. This is a Cool Guy Designs watermark. Looks amazing. Um, but as you see, it's if I just go back, it kind of gets rid of that watermark. So say I want to keep it. So I'm going to go choose the watermark. I'm going to click which layer I want it to, layer comp I want it to apply to, and then I'm going to go to this update layer comp button. So now if I go to Bedrock, the watermark will go away because I didn't save it on that version. But if I wanted it, I can just click it to have it visible, then click update. And now my layer comp is updated with that cool guy designs logo. Um, so yeah, that's layer comps. That's a couple of reasons of why you would use them. I hope you found this informative. Uh, if you have any other questions about Photoshop or any other design program, uh, just let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. But yeah, been happy making these videos. Everyone's been really cool. Thanks. Bye.